Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 15 that is JavaScript executor in CLNM in CSharp.net. In this video, you will learn how to execute JavaScript uh, using Selenium and why this JavaScript executor is a really important concept. In this particular uh, lecture, you will learn how to click on the element using JavaScript, how to set the data in edit box, how to scroll to element, how to fire events, how to get the inner text or HTML using JavaScript. So earlier we have seen that uh, the JavaScript executor, uh, earlier we have seen that there are some exceptions that might occur like element is not clickable or cert sometimes uh, what happens is uh, when you try to select value from the drop down, some other elements become visible. So because of some events, uh, uh, because of some uh, events, certain code gets invoked and then certain elements become visible or the page state changes. So sometimes what happens is that those events do not get fired and then our test fail so you can use javascript executor to fire such events so that your tests will not fail so that's why this javascript executor is really important and now let us look at how to click on the elements or perform certain operations using javascript executor for that you will have to first of all cast this driver using javascript executor and this this is actually the interface through which the user can execute the javascript and it has got one method called as execute script first argument is the actual javascript that has to be executed and second argument is the element that you have to pass actually uh, it can take multiple arguments you can pass multiple web elements to this particular method so in this particular example i have just passed one element that is the checkbox so what we are doing is passing that checkbox and your argument zero is actually pointing to this first element and then we are using this click method of the javascript this is the native uh, method of the javascript to click on the element then let us see how to set the data in edit box for that uh, what you have to do is again find the element using selenium api and then pass it uh, to this particular execute scripts method and in here what we have done is use the javascript to set the value in that particular edit box then how to scroll to specific element again what we have done is found the element cucumber link and then pass that over there and this scroll into view this particular uh, javascript method is used to scroll any element uh, into the view that is it uh, it it becomes visible or uh, it, the page is scrolled so that it uh, you can view in the viewport then you can also fire the events like there are multiple javascript events or the html events uh, that happen on the web elements like change event, blur event, focus event etc or the key press events so if you want to fire any such event you can use this syntax and over there we have passed the change so it means that fire the change event if you want to fire say blur event just replace this change by blur or the focus whatever event you want to fire and this dispatch event this actually um, this method is used to fire the actual event now over there what we have done is just pass this entire javascript over there in this variable and then this is the element on which we want to fire the event so that we have passed in the second argument then to get the inner html of any web page you can use the syntax notice this return statement uh, return uh, keyword and this dot inner html this is used to access the inner html then we have converted it to the string because we want to store that into a string format and then we have printed that as well so actually any valid javascript you can execute uh, using selenium and before you actually uh, pass this javascript uh, over here you can also test it on the browser as well for example over here let us say you want to click on this uh, qtp checkbox using javascript so you can use the developer tools for that and over here you can use this particular syntax first of all find that element then use this square bracket zero it means that ac first access the first element in that collection what this particular st uh, statement will do is return the collection or the array of elements so you want to access just one element and then what follows is the actual javascript that is executed so if i execute this by pressing enter key what will happen is this checkbox qtp checkbox will be checked as you can see this checkbox is checked 
and if I click once again it will be unchecked that is how you can use the JavaScript so you can test any valid JavaScript uh, statements over here for example you want to find out user agent dot so you can get the user agent or the browser in which that page is loaded using this JavaScript so as you can see here it is Chrome 56 don't get confused by Mozilla because there is there is just the engine name so that is how you can use the, any JavaScript over there and then once you are happy with that just copy paste it and uh, pass it over here in the first argument so what I'm gonna do is just execute this one just demonstrate how it works what it, uh, it will do is launch the browser and then uh, click on the QTP checkbox then set the value in that edit box and also scroll to the cucumber link it entered the Sean and then it is scrolled to the cucumber link and this test has finished executing if you look at the output it will print the inner HTML as well of the page like that so that ends our lecture number 15 that is JavaScript executor and in this lecture we have seen how to execute the JavaScript like click on the element setting the data in the box scrolling firing events getting in the HTML or executing any valid JavaScript in Selenium thanks for watching this video